Hi guys, welcome to real time automation. Today we are going to see how to push a project for the very first time to the GitHub, like and also why GitHub is used. Let's get started. So, um, in your company that you have around three to four resources working as a QA for your project. So you st started implementing the framework project among three so it will be very difficult right so whenever you want to um, give some code uh, like a latest code that you have written for the scripts you want to share with that uh, resource to you should zip it or um, you should send the files um, for that resource you need to take the update of that one so it will be very difficult to push or pull here so that's why um, we have it git latest code from the git so um, so for performing this git uh, for the very first time to push the framework code into the git we are using git bash it is used to pull all the files from the local environment to the git okay guys um, let me open my id so how to download git bash i will show you and I will also provide that one in a um, description link. So steps to download that one. Just after um, navigating to this URL, click on Windows. It automatically uh, downloads the git bash uh, .exe file. After that one, you need to um, once it is done, you need to run that one and install from your local. I will provide that uh, these details in a description once that get downloaded it will look something like this here you can see it's already there 64 bit you can go for 64 bit or 32 bit uh, based on your system requirements and by the time it opens I am going to um, open a kit GitHub. GitHub. Okay, you need to log in. Sign in. If you are a very first time user, then you need to new repository. Yeah. So repository is BDD framework. Okay. And I will make it pri uh, private here and create repository. So, for, um, so very first time I'm committing the code to this one, guys. You can see some of the like commands that you are going to use to push the code for very first time. I'll show you that one. Just right click. Uh, this is a code, guys. That uh, that that all the things that I covered for this framework. Just I'm going to the properties and um, you can see they are time selenium okay so just taking the path of that one i got it's there here so just i'm going to copy this one copy this one and i will paste it in a folder new in a desktop just a backup kind of thing if anything goes wrong I'm going to paste that code here. So you can see here. Just go into this one and here, git bash here. 
git init okay next after that one once we initialize the git here git over here next step is you can see um, you need to all add all the files we need to these files whatever files are there right we need to load it here so for that we need to use a um, git add all command so it is going to load all the files next next we need to commit for the very first time right we are committing so commit um, and we need to pass the um, pass the uh, comment also first 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 commit next we need to um, add the origin here remote add origin we need to pass the url where we want to commit um, here this code is the right just we can copy paste the same this time try i will remove entire thing this time i'm going to paste that one okay let me copy this one yes now after um, copy pasting the code that means url where we want to commit we need to now push push the code right to that particular url to master we need to push the code from our local now it will populate it should populate um, now we will reload this one we will see that the code is here or not yeah guys you can see we have committed the code successfully over here thanks guys for watching my video